Hello, today we'll be doing property dividends. I will say that if you hear an odd noise, it's either my dog snoring or the wind howling. It is incredibly windy out there today. Okay, so property dividends. Property dividends are dividends that are payable in property other than cash. Corporations will pay them if they don't have the cash to actually pay out as a dividend, but they want to make sure that they pay a dividend out. Because sometimes if you don't pay a dividend, it sends a signal to the marketplace and people start to panic and get rid of your stock. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. Freestone Corporation's Board of Directors declares a property dividend payable in investment securities, which are bonds issued by Bandera Company. The bonds are recorded as an investment by Freestone and classified as available for sale. So they're just short-term bonds that they have on their on the asset side of their balance sheet. All right, the bonds are carried at Freestone's book value. The bonds are carried on Freestone's books at a fair value of forty thousand dollars. The current fair value is forty-three thousand dollars. Okay, so the dates are still all the same. You still have data declaration, ex dividend date, data record, and data payment. But when it's a property dividend, you have a, a little extra entry to do. So on the date of declaration, you have two things you have to do. You need to adjust the property to fair value. Then record the liability. Okay. So there, it's on their books at 40000 it currently has a fair value of 43, so they need to increase the investment. And I just shortened it to Bandera Company, BC Bonds, by three. And you're going to record an actual gain. <clears throat> All right, and then you record the dividend and earnings and property dividends payable as opposed to cash of the 43. So it's the fair value of the asset that you are giving up. All right, then remember on the ex dividend date and the data record, there's no entries, maybe a memo entry on the data record, but that's it. So the next one is data payment. We have an actual entry. All right, and that's gonna be property dividends payable. And the investment comes off the books because you're now issuing it to your shareholders. All right, so what they're making down here, the note they're making down here at the bottom is that the adjustment to fair value is done on a daily declaration and you don't do any more adjustments after that point because that's when it becomes a liability at that value. All right, a script dividend, um, they're hardly ever done. It's like you give them a note. We're not gonna worry about it. You don't need to know it. All right, but basically the company issues a note for the dividends. Nobody really wants that. This will not be on the test, so don't worry about it. What's the next one up? All right, stock dividends. So a stock dividend, I decided to go to its own little tab. A stock dividend is where, once again, the corporation wants to pay a dividend, but they don't really want to issue cash or pay cash. Um, so they might issue additional shares of stock, all right? By issuing additional shares of stock, the shareholder can then either collect more dividends as when dividends are paid, or they can turn around and sell those shares of stock and get the cash if they so desire, okay? Um, the prorated share stays the same. Your proportionate ownership stays the same. 
I'll write it like that. Proportion of ownership stays the same. Additional shares of stock are issued as the dividend. Proportional ownership stays the same. No assets are distributed. All right, so like with the regular cash dividend, cash actually goes out the door. So ultimately cash and equity both go down. All right, so with the cash dividend, cash or property dividend, assets decrease and equity decreases. All right, with a stock dividend, There are no changes to assets or equity. And when I mean that, I mean in total. So your total equity won't change. All right, the only change is a shift within equity. Okay, so what happens is that um, Retained earnings decreases, and you'll see it when we do the entries. And contributed capital increases. Okay, let's see what's next up here. All right, this is what I was talking about again, um, or at the beginning. So sometimes they'll pay a stock dividend because I don't want to spend the cash if they're planning on building an additional plan or facilities or things of that nature. And so therefore the investors might see it in a favorable light and not take it as a signal that something has gone wrong. <clears throat> um, depending on the size of the stock dividend, all right, and we'll talk about that here in a second, it might also change the market price per share of a dividend, which if it decreases the market price per share, then the trading volume might increase. Okay, let's see. This is important to know right here. Fair value, stock dividends are recorded at fair value if they are considered small stock dividends, which is in the range of 20 to 25%. All right, and if it's, if it's a small stock dividend, as we'll see when we do some examples, The fair value of the stock is transferred from retained earnings to contributed capital or paid in capital. Paid in capital and contributed capital are the same thing. All right, and it's assuming this assumes that a small stock dividend does not impact the market price per share. So that's why we can use for value. If it's a large stock dividend, so greater than 25%, then you transfer the par value of the stock from retained earnings to paid in capital. 
And this is done because it assumes that a large dividend will impact the market price per share. And that fair value at the time of the dividend will change significantly. Okay, so the example. We have Queer Corporation, and here is their current equity section, right? They have 20,000 shares of common stock currently outstanding, has a 10 dollar par value, additional paid in capital of 180, and retained earnings of $320,000 currently. Okay, so they have a pay a small stock dividend, or issue, I should say issue. All right, let's see. They declare a 10% stock dividend, fair value of stock is $23 per share. Okay, so first step, shares issued will be the 20,000 shares they currently have times the 10% stock dividend all right so they're going to issue 2000 shares okay so then times the fair value Right, so our stock dividend is going to be for $46,000. Okay, so the $46,000 is what's going to come out of retained earnings. And I'm going to shift it over into the stock accounts. So I'm going to do common stock to be distributed because I haven't actually given it out yet. But it's going to be at par. So 2,000 shares times the $10 par. And then the difference goes into paid in capital. All right, so notice everything took place within the equity section. Retained earnings went down by $46,000 and contributed capital or paid in capital is gonna go up by $46,000. All right, this is on daily decoration. I should say that, put that up here. And then date of issue. I'm going to have my common stock to be distributed and a credit to common stock for the 20,000. All right, so notice they go over here and they show you how it changed. It changed. All right. After after the 10% dividend. All right, my paid, my common stock is now $220,000. My additional paid in is now 180 plus 26. And my retained earnings is 
and it should all still add up and it does all right so my total stayed the same it just is different within the accounts okay now we need to do a large one. Oh my gosh <laughs> it's my dog All right, large stock dividend. And in this case, they're doing a forty a forty percent um, fair value of the stock is still twenty three dollars. Okay, so the shares issued will be our 20,000 shares that we have outstanding times the 40%. So I'm going to issue 8,000 more shares. And I'm, I'm, since it's a large stock dividend, dividend, I'm going to use par value which was 10. All right, so it's gonna be data declaration. It's gonna be retained earnings and a common stock CS is common stock distributed at the par value of 80 and then date of issue Yo, I'm sorry so light on my house between the dog and the wind is the common stock to be distributed and common stock And this still doesn't change. After the 40%, this goes up to, oh shoot, y'all, it's, yeah, that's right, okay. This goes up to 280, this stays 180, and this goes down to 240. And it's still the same. Let's see if there's anything else in here. All right, I'm going to stop with that one on the stock dividends.